Oh, whoa. Well, that was a good beginning. <laughs> what, what was that all I, I, I knocked it off. I mean, I knocked this. Okay. I, why don't you look and see if it's still, or you can see me. I don't know. Boy. <laughs> what a beginning, huh? <laughs> Hello, can you see me? Yes. Okay, I gotta go on. And there is a little bit above your head, but not much. Okay, anyway, here I am. <laughs> and I'm sorry that I did that. Oh, oh well, things happen, huh? Anyway, today, I'm going, it's a first for me, but it's, oh, I was gonna get the book. It's the Brain Food book. And, and they suggested you make, um, oh, Tahini. I've never done it before, and you've probably eaten it, and, and I have had it before, but a long time ago. So that's what's wrong with my brain. It's been too long ago. And you can make it. I, I'm going to make some salad dressings out of it. I might even put it in hummus, and that's what usually it goes in. But there's other, a lot of other things you can do with it. And um, what I have here is sesame seeds that I toasted and I did it in small batch batches and I don't know if I have it toasted enough but when it began to pop and pop out of my pan I thought it must be toasted enough and I'm gonna try to do it with my stick blender and the recipe that I have calls for five ounces or and I did it in grams 140 grams and then I I did it backwards to grams to see if it was the same well in grams it showed that I had 4.9 but I thought that was close enough so I'm putting it in here it's cooled down now and talking about cool down I usually make videos in the morning but we've been we were outside this morning because it's supposedly 104 today, probably hotter, and tomorrow is supposed to be 106. On Monday, it'll be in the 80s. So we're just um, hot, and then we're and then we're back to <laughs> back to cool at 80. Okay, and then also, and I'm gonna try to leave it in the description. Cindy, thank you Cindy, for sending me, there's a video by the author of the book that I have on the Icorn book, How to Make Your Sourdough. Well, I listened to it, and it's not quite the same as what's in the book. I, I, I don't know if she changed her methods since the book, or just what happened, but when Anyway, you'll see it's different, and I went back to the book to see if I'd really missed it, and no, I hadn't. It was just a little bit different, and her method I thought was better, and so I, you know, I'm in the process of doing it again, so that was very helpful, and um, if I don't get it done, just look it up, and it's jovial, I think, um, flowers. Uh, I'll show you. What does it say? Jovial. Uh, J-O-B-I-A-L. Look that up. Look up sourdough starter. You'll see the video on it. Okay, like I say, I'm going to try to do this with my stick blender. If I can't, I'll put it in my um, I'll put it in my real blender. Okay, then it said to put two to four tablespoons of oil. And I'm going to start out with two, maybe three, but I'll put two in to start with and then add maybe, I don't know, we'll see. Okay, I'm going to put in a little more already. There, I, I think that's about three tablespoons. And I might as well put in a pinch of salt right now. OK, 
Okay. I might add more to it. It'll be interesting if sesame just seeds fly all over. I think I think it's not gonna fly all over. And when, oh I can smell it. It's supposed to make a nice paste. It's not supposed to be gritty when I'm done. I thought if I could make it in the jar, you know, it's a nice storage container. I don't have to lose lose any of it trying to put in another container, but we'll just see what happens. So far I haven't got it near, near there. It's doing something. And it smells good. Okay, I, what I'm going to have to do is bring this up because it's, oh, and I'm afraid when I bring it up, it's going to go on my counter. If I could get, okay, okay. Am I losing some? Yep. That, oh, you know, that's why you should do it in a blender. But I'm sort of committed now. Oh, you know, I might have to because it doesn't look too much different than when I started, except it's oilier. I'm going to give it one more try. Here, if it would stay. Yeah, one more try, and then, and then it's going to be transferred, and you'll know not, not to do this. I'm teaching you a lot of things not to do. You know what? Even though I think this would do it eventually, I'm going to put it in my blender. And yes, that's giving up, I suppose, but I think it might be the better part of wisdom now. Okay, I'm away from the, the switch. And yes, I'm sure it would do it eventually because I do have what looks like paste in there. Oh, yeah, I, you know, I'm almost there. I think what I'll do, I, I you know, I'm going to give it one more time, but it said you could add more oil, and I'm going to add a little more oil. So... Here goes. Because it's almost pasty down there. I hope it's tasty too, besides pasty. doing much, much better. It's, oh yeah, if I can get it. I think if I'd had a little bit bigger jar, 
where there was more space to bring it up. The, I don't have any space to get it out of here without the stuff escaping. Okay. Well, my arm is in the way, but uh, you can see it's making paste. What I'm going to do, I'm going to sort of taste it. And there you go. And then I'm going to make it without you seeing me do all this stuff. But I'm still, I'm going to try for this jar still. But I want to taste. Mmm. Wow. Good. Now, I've got all sorts of sesame. By the way, my kids call them sea same streets. The seeds. Sesame Street used to be some kind of, I think, a TV program. Once we had TV. <laughs> And then we moved to some place where you couldn't have TV because it was too far remote. And since then, who needs it? We don't. Okay. The only thing about not having TV, you don't know which toothpaste to use. You don't know which laundry soap, which deodorant, which... So, <laughs> you're left in the dark. Okay, I, if I could find that book handy, but I did something with it to look at today. So much for brain food. But I was going to tell you, some of, I, I've got a couple of recipes in there for salad dressing. And I want to do that. I also want to make a hummus. And the hummus, you know, is traditionally garbanzo beans which actually I've made up with any kind of beans so it's it's not all that important that you have the traditional thing you can still make it so with that I know this hasn't been long I don't think but I hope it's been sweet and we'll let you go our chickens are doing fine we went down their yard this morning. They have, oh, so many nice little shrubs and bushes to get under and trees. So they're taken care of very nicely. So until tomorrow.